We're heading into the playoffs round one, but before we do, I'm going to show you a couple of trades that went down during the season. We got Deontay Murray getting traded, then we got Jimmy Butler and Donovan Mitchell from the Boston Celtics that you saw on my video earlier this week. So he made a big trade. So the first round, unfortunately, I wasn't able to record it. Uh, we went up against the Miami Heat. He had James Harden and DeMar DeRozan. So now we're in the second round against the Boston Celtics. And he has a great squad. I'll be showing you his team after he made that blockbuster trade. So it's pretty stacked. He has Donovan, Kemba, DeAndre Aiden, Blake Griffin, Gordon Hayward, Dinwiddie. Oh my goodness, LaMelo Ball. To game one. 2K Sports presents the playoffs of the NBA. Here we go. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is going to be a great matchup. Game number one is always exciting. The crowd is super loud. They're into it. They have the blue t-shirts. You already know it's going to be hype. So we got Donovan Mitchell with the pull up from mid range. We got CP3 going into the lane. Hopefully we won't change our game plan too much against his team, but defensively it's going to be tough. He's being very aggressive with Donovan, Mi <laughs> Donovan Mitchell as he should be because he is an amazing slasher. CP3 to deep three. So to start the game, I didn't know what matchups I wanted to put. So initially I put Paul George against Mitchell, but then he also had Dinwiddie, he also had Kemba Walker, he had so many different options to attack me, so I had to keep switching my matchups. Paul George with a pull up in his grill, and we end up taking a 7 point lead to, to start the game. He ends up calling an early timeout. So you'll notice throughout the game it's not high scoring because like I said the defense is really crazy. Kemba Walker with a nice floater. And in terms of crazy, I mean like the defense is really good because we have some pretty stacked teams because this league, it wasn't a full 30 user league. Like uh, if you watched the, the draft video, you would have noticed that it's not 30 users. So the teams are pretty, because there's a lot of talent on the teams. So this first quarter is only 11 to 13. A lot of back and forth, LaMelo Ball gets into the paint. So his game plan was pretty simple, is just to keep attacking the paint with his LaMelo Ball with his Donovan Mitchell, with his Dinwiddie, with all of these players that he has. So he's going to keep trying to attack me. I got to stay on guard. Paul George with the fading three to end the quarter. So that was a huge shot because it was a tie game. Blake Griffin with the spin move. That's unstoppable right there. If you play my career, there's a lot of people abusing that specific move. It's really unstoppable. So again, he's trying to attack me in the paint. But in this specific possession, we'll play great defense, nice double team, nice contest, great rotation by our team. Notice how I don't jump, I just leave my hands up, and it ends up being a shot clock violation. So both squads had a lot of nice defensive possessions in this game, as well as some great offensive sets. So that's what I'm trying to showcase here, Kemba with a nice drive into the paint. And if you've tried guarding Kemba Walker in this game in next gen, it's almost impossible to stay in front of him because he has all of them badges, playmaking badges. So <laughs> whenever I put good defenders on him, it doesn't even matter to be honest. So Paul George gets into the paint. It's back to a tie game, 24-24. LaMelo kicks it out to Donovan Mitchell. I anticipated the pass, he didn't pass it. So Donovan gets into the paint and drives into the trees. Pull up midi with PG. Green. So setting a nice screen for CP. Pull up three. That was a tough three. They had two defenders coming right at him. So Donovan Mitchell is attacking once again behind the back layup. My defender doesn't jump because Jonathan Isaac was guarding his center. So it's really tough because if you help, the center is going to be open. And if you don't, then they're going to get a wide open layup. So it's a decision you got to make defensively. My opponent had a great offensive possession here. He used the whole 24 shot clock, waited for my defense to react, and RJ Barrett had a wide open three. Another screen for PG. He goes under the screen, pull up for three. I end up missing it, and he's going to end up getting the play of the game, which is LaMelo Ball, L Hoop to Blake Griffin. So that was the play of the game for the Boston Celtics. Crazy alley between LaMelo and BG. Lob City, PG to the paint. And we get takeover right before halftime. 
So to start the third quarter, his game plan definitely didn't change. He's going to keep attacking the paint, but this time he's going to start the half with Lamelo instead of Donovan Mitchell. So I really had to decide, where do I want my defenders to go? Do I want him to stop Lamelo? <laughs> Isaac with a crazy help defense block right there. So Isaac is going to finish that defensive sequence with a nice spin on Blake Griffin here, and he's going to get the dunk. So what I was mentioning earlier is I didn't know who to put my defenders on because Lamelo's a tall point guard, so Chris Paul was getting blown by all the time. So it's either Donovan or Lamelo. I had to make a decision. So that was a tough decision to make. Chris Paul off a double screen, pulls up for midi. So it's back to a three-point game. Donovan Mitchell is going to go into the paint again, and he misses the dunk. I don't know what it is, but on the next gen, a lot of players misses dunks. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> I don't think they should be missing that much. Chris Paul with a green release from deep. So I think this was our biggest lead of the game so far. Six. I'm not too sure if we had a double digit lead because he kept attacking me. Kemba Walker with the pull up three. Again, this is a nice play by Chris Paul. He's taking over in his third quarter. He dropped a three point shot. And now I'm patient again. Step back, midi, grill. <laughs> When I say grill, I mean he shoots it in his grill. So Chris Paul is taking over in his third quarter. We're going to try to push it through double digits. But again, Donovan Mitchell is driving in the paint. Really, really tough to stop no matter who you are. Lamelo, it's his turn. Like I'm saying, it's almost impossible to stop all of these drives to the paint. So Lamelo goes into the line. He makes the first. And then Peachy's coming off a screen. So what I like to do is move my players around a lot because he has great defense. Paul George is starting to start dancing on Otto Porter. I think this was the play of the game for my team. Nice dribble moves by PG into the facial. So Lamelo again in the paint. Like I'm telling you, I tried switching so many different defenders and it doesn't even matter. He gets all the animations. On this specific possession, I'm patient with Paul George trying to see how he's playing me. Because he was playing me tight, but then he started backing off. So I was trying to see how... He was playing me so I know what to do on offense. I try to read my defender. So in this specific possession as well, I switched Paul George and LaMelo Ball and I was able to stop him on this one play. Because like I said, LaMelo Ball was getting into the paint at will. Jay Crowder is going to end up bumping Blake Griffin here, forcing a shot clock violation. Another great defensive possession. So my focus was LaMelo Ball in this third quarter when Donovan Mitchell went on the bench. He's going to drive into the paint. He misses the left-handed layup, gets the offensive rebound. But again, this possession, Paul George is on LaMelo Ball and we're going to end up stopping his drive. That LaMelo behind the back is really unstoppable. It creates a lot of space. But we managed to stop it on a couple of possessions when I switched Paul George. So to end this third quarter, we got some nice stops. So we're building momentum heading into the fourth quarter, which is very important. And we have a four-point lead. So every basket at each stop you can get in a tight playoff game like this is very important. On this play right here, he backs up as you can see. So I was trying to see if he was going to bring a double team, but he ended up not bringing a double team. Lamelo Ball was just faking it. So I ended up posting up Otto Porter. Nice spin, nice pump fake. So like I said, our team was building up momentum. After these free throws, we ended up by five points. So we got a nice, decent lead. But my opponent ends up leaving the game. I don't know what happened, but he ends up quitting. Usually we would reset this type of game, but my opponent has a track record of leaving games during the regular season, so that's why this game didn't get reset. Game 2 will be posted tomorrow, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like and a comment.